I'm a few kilometers out of Wijimulva on my way to Norseman and saw a cutting on the side of the road here. I thought I'd investigate, see if there's any nice rocks. And I found this one. I don't know much of it's showing up, but there's some really nice pinks in here. I think this is lapidolite with pyrite as well. Pyrite pieces, little crystals shining off. Hey, g'day. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Feel free to leave a comment if you want and click on like. And if you'd like to see more of these videos, please consider subscribing. Welcome to part two of my April 2024 rock hunt. Make sure you stay around for the slideshow at the end of this video. There are some stunning rocks. So this is the <coughs> dendritic opalite site. It's like a dump. <laughs> It's all through here. Uh, and just as an example, where I'm parked here, there's some nice pieces. Nice mossy, almost mossy piece. Nice greeny tones. So yes, I will um, grab a bucket and start filling. I haven't even moved from the car yet, and I'm already gonna fill up a bucket. There's lots of this mossy stuff that I was hoping to get. Maybe not that one. Or him. But believe me, there's a lot of it. Here's some. Nice. Those black areas there. No. I'll grab that green one and that one. So I made it to the front of the car and there's some <laughs> some more nice stuff right here. Maybe not him. That one's a nice. That one's a nice. They're all nice. <laughs> Amazing, it's everywhere. I said I wanted to find more green this time and I've really kind of struck the jackpot here. Look at this stuff. It's beautiful. It's everywhere. <laughs> this is if I've made it <laughs> and I've already filled a bucket. Time to go. Get another bucket. Uh, I think I'm going to need a bigger bucket. I think I might have to my rock hunt short I've already filled up four buckets and I just keep finding more and more neat stuff <laughs> brilliant you really need to keep your wits about you when you're wandering through the bush out here there's traps <laughs> these huge freaking spiders set up traps Look what he's got for dinner. A whole lot of flies. Oh, he's actually eating something now, I think. Cockroach or something. <laughs> yeah, so you don't want to go walking into one of them. They're actually working on the railway here. That's the railway line just over there. And what they've done is they've got all the opalite that was here and pushed it up a big pile here that means that stuff that was previously buried could now be exposed plus we've just had some rain to wash them all 
clean. I wonder if I can buy some more buckets somewhere. <laughs> So it's early on day three here, and I'm just about to leave the piles of dendritic opalite. Uh, that's where you'd normally look over in that area. But they have just scraped up what was here into these piles. So it's sort of freshly uncovered. And we've had a fairly heavy rain, so washes the rocks, makes them a bit nicer, to, a bit easier to sort through. So I'll just quickly show you what sort of rocks you get here so you get your yellows you get these sort of colors i don't know what you call that greeny gray these ones with white with the gray dendrites running through it with some green there must be some green here somewhere there's <coughs> greeny yellow um, more white, more yellow. Come on, green, where are you? There's a little piece of green, no, oh, greeny yellow color. That's nothing. There's a bit of green, although it's hidden. Oh, I've just noticed this. This is what I'm looking for. I heard someone refer to these as eyes the other day in the dendritic opalite and I think that's exactly what they look like. But this stuff comes up really nice, so he can go in my pile over there. <laughs> Didn't quite make it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just an amazing place. Oh, look at that one. Fantastic. Everywhere you look, and that one there, although it looks pretty boring if you break it I won't be able to break that right now there'll be a color in there you never know what color so yes time to say goodbye to this pile and head to the next location I decided to check out the super pit at Kalgoorlie this is an absolutely enormous open cut mine they mine gold here up to I think it's about 800,000 ounces a year now that truck there is the same size as that inset with a little picture of me standing next to it to give you a scale. Uh, and as I zoom out, you'll see exactly how big this pit is. <laughs> it's pretty big. Um, quite impressive to stand there and watch what's going on. You can do a tour of the mine. I didn't have time. But yeah, maybe one year when I'm passing I will. And now the slideshow. This is what I mainly tried to get this trip. Um, this is a plain, well plain, it's a yellow dendritic opalite. Um, green with slight dendrites in it. Another one with these clear bits, they polish up really well. Um, another yellow with finer dendrites in it. Another one with these mossy clear bits. Uh, this is quite unusual, it's green, but you can actually see the translucency in it. Um, another stunning <laughs> example. Um, yellow with green around the outside. Uh, another paler sort of green with browny dendrites. This one really very dark. Dendrites again, uh, green into yellow. A lot of them do the green to yellow blend. Um, another bit with clear sections or translucent sections. Another pale green one. Um, this one with a bit of red. I like finding them with a bit of red they're quite rare uh, another yellow now this one it's a, a pale yellow it's like a, a pastel now this one's amazing it kind of looks like a cat or a mouse or something but it's fantastic uh, more yellow and uh, green another one with uh, translucent mossy pieces um, beigey with bluey gray dendrites Oh, now this one is quite deceiving. It has a nice clear section through the middle. More green. Um, again, translucent sections through the middle there. More translucent bits there. Uh. And lastly, that piece, which I think is lapidolite with pyrite crystals. So that's all for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. There will be another video in a few days where I collect banded rhyolite. Uh, I hope to see you then.